the symmetry of lift. In a previous video we saw that the advancing and retreating blades are defined by the velocity of the relative airflow over them. The advancing blade experiences the highest flow velocity. The retreating blade the lowest. We already know that lift is proportional to velocity. So it should be reasonably obvious that the advancing blade will generate significantly more lift unless corrected. This dissymmetry of lift would produce a large rolling moment towards the retreating blade. This problem concerned the early pioneers of rotary flight. After experiencing several failures, Juan de Sierva, a Spanish inventor, found the solution. He attached each blade to the hub using a hinge which allowed the blade to flap up or down. As each blade enters the advancing phase, it starts to generate proportionately more lift. The increased lift causes the blade to flap up. As it flaps up, its angle of attack reduces, thus reducing the amount of lift it generates. As the blade crosses into the retreating phase, the amount of lift produced reduces. The blade starts to fall and in doing so, the angle of attack increases. Lift is partially restored. The overall effect of the flapping hinges is to equalize the amount of lift generated by the advancing and retreating blades. The blades are said to have flapped to equality. Flapping is defined as the vertical movement of a blade above or below the hub plane. Not all rotors use hinges, but all blades must be able to flap to avoid a non-controllable roll. The same requirement applies to the conventional tail rotor, as this also experiences dissymmetry of lift.